After you've downloaded the file and unpacked it, you will find that it has these eight files in. This is a, a brush and a pattern that we will use later. Uh, these are the clothing files that you have actually in World, and these are the PSD files that we are going to work with. We are going to work with the upper part, so the spring dress upper part PSD, and in order to um, make some changes, the, the changes that I want to make, I also will use the template upper PSD. So, I will open these. I go to File, Open, and here they are. This is the template upper PSD. Holding the control button there, I will open these two files. And they open both. There we go. This is the spring dress upper, and this is the template made by Chip Midnight, the raw template. Before you make any changes, it is smart to make a copy before you start changing things. So if you do it like this, you say File, Save As, um, and you just call it uh, A, and save it. So now you have saved it, and it will not uh, affect your original uh, template. If we look any uh, better at this template, you will see these four layers here. They are the so-called support layers. The seam labels, the seam matching guide, the edge matching guide, and the length guide. These are the colored, uh, the colored lines you see here on the template. If I click them away, you see what I mean. This part is the actual template. You see the curving lines that match the body. There here are three layers, a background layer and a shaded grid, which are actually set the, the same layers. And in between you see layer 1. Layer 1 is the layer that you are going to work on. Now why is there a background and a shaded grid which is the same? If you have a look at the shaded grid, you can see it is in multiply mode which means it is in a kind of transparency. Why is that? Well, let me show you. If I go to layer 1 and I click this away and I'm on layer 1, you can see now I'm on top of the background. You can see the background. I make a square like this and I fill it with a paint bucket with the color that I have here. Come on. Opacity back to full there. There we go. So it is there and you cannot see the lines underneath. If I click this on you see the function of the shaded grid. It is because it is in transparency mode you still can see the lines through uh, what I'm uh, what I have created on top. Good. I don't need this so I will just undo it. There we go. Now, what are we going to do? We are going to make changes in this uh, template. But you see, in this template there is all on, only the breast shade, the side shade, the base, and the border, and the ribbon. There is not such a thing as that shaded grid or that background and we would like to have that because then you can make alternations and you can see how it works. Now I'm going to copy this uh, shaded grid to my other template, the template that I'm going to work with. I select the shaded grid. I go to Edit, Copy vis Visible or use shift Control c I go back to my other uh, template, I go up to the most top one and I say edit paste as new layer. There we go. This is from the clipboard, paste it. I can duplicate this layer make sure that this one goes down to the bottom it is in normal mode and the top one will be 
in multiply mode. And there we go. Now what I have done is I have put these on to this one. I won't need this one anymore because I have copied what I needed. I uh, said yes, save it. I have made a copy. Here I haven't made a copy as yet, so I will say save as and I give it also the A save. There we go. This is ready to be uh, to make your alternations because you have prepared the your template uh, by putting the shaded grid in.